Hi guys, Danielle here from Vogue Bandwagon. Um, this is my new favorite sweater. It's so freaking comfortable. I got it from uh, Winners for 20 bucks. What a great find. Anyways, it's so rainy outside um, and really gross. So I'm in my comfy clothes. And um, it's super dark so I had to bring one of my soft boxes up to my room because today I'm going to show you guys how I stay organized. It's a question that I get a lot because I have so much on the go all the time so people are like, how do you do it? And my number one tip is to always have your shit in order. So I am living with my in-laws right now which means that I can't really show you everything that I do to stay organized so I'm just going to focus on what I do in my bedroom because most of my stuff is in here. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we'll start with this area over here. This is my nightstand. I just have all my jewelry in here, which is also always neatly organized. They have bracelets, rings and earrings, necklaces, uh, little, what do you call these? Oh, pendants in here that I can't pick up, and all of my jewels. Okay, so in my top drawer is where I keep everything that I always need on hand. Like I have my tablet in here. Sorry guys, I have a stuffy nose if you can hear me sniffling. Um, I have my tablet in here. I have whatever book I'm reading on the go. And then um, here is where I keep everything that I'm too lazy to get out of bed to grab. And all my little roll-ons from Sage because these are my favorite. And the second drawer is where I keep all of my camera stuff. Um, so usually it's all in there, memory cards, all that jazz. My last drawer is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. Um, I never really have drunk drawers. If you do have a junk drawer, get rid of it. This is the extent of my drunk drawer, junk drawer. I keep my computer in here, my folder with all of our important documents and things I just don't have a spot for, like these extra pencils these things from Lush that I saved to return and ugh, a lot of gum and then over here I have my diffuser it's kind of dark over here but I keep all of my oils on the top shelf I keep all of my um, stones and stuff on the middle shelf then if we move over here um, my top shelf is where I keep all my blog stuff, so I have all of our goodies in here where we take flat lays. This is all my arts and crafts stuff. Love coloring. Of course, I flip to the pages that are all empty. Um, here's where I keep my books. So, on the back shelf is all the books that I need to read. On the front shelf, I will keep books that, um, I like to either, um, always grab and read or books that I, um, have on the go. Down here, if you pull this out, this is my shelf where I have things on the go. So I have my um, calendars. I need to get my boating license. These are gift cards or things that need to be put into my wallet. Um, I have a shelf for all of my school stuff. And then again, a shelf that I just have miscellaneous things that I don't know what to do with. I even have three journals. So this journal here is where I put all of my blog stuff in. Then I have my personal journal, which I write down what's going on for the week and things like that. And I will literally plan my life like months in advance. And then I have my school journal because I am back in school again. So in here is where I will write anything that has to do with school assignments and things like that. Okay, and then posted on the wall right near the door, I have another whiteboard calendar here where um, I will write what's going on for the week. Um, this is so that Matt and I can see each other's schedules of what's going on for the week um, because we both kind of are on opposite schedules and are about out and about all the time. So this just kind of lays it out for us. I even go as deep as in my closet on this end. I have all my dresses and skirts. Then it goes tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve, sweaters, and coats. So then there's no guessing of where things are. I even have a special spot down here for all of my athletic wear. So I've got um, tank tops in there, leggings, and sports bras in one. 
so it really takes um, a special type of person to be as organized as I am so just do your best and the one thing I can really recommend to you is get a journal like a calendar that will keep your life in order you write down all of your appointments write down what's going on um, I cannot go a day without my journal if someone comes to me and says what are you doing on this date I'm like don't talk to me till I get my journal um, secondly when you bring things through the door put them away um, if you just like put them in that drunk drawer or just push them to the side they're gonna stay there for weeks so deal with things as they come through the door um, what else it's not something that happens overnight it took me quite a while to become organized um, and then as long as you just take those every couple of weeks or once a month to just reorganize everything then it's a lot easier than doing it like say once a year or twice a year <laughs> okay well this weather <laughs> is making us want to uh, take a nap and do nothing for the rest of the night so we will see you guys soon thank you for watching i really appreciate it this little bugger down for the count i'm gonna turn off these bright lights and maybe take a nap <laughs> bye guys